Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Blessed Biafra Network. This evening we'll come to you with another news from a neighboring country, Burkina Faso. And please try to press the notification bell so that you will not be missed out from any of our videos. Thank you so much. And now the news in detail. Burkina Faso a morning after bloody jihadist attack. Burkina Faso was morning Wednesday after jihadists killed 35 civilians, almost of them women. In one of the deadliest assaults in nearby five of violence in the two bold West African country, seven soldiers also died on Tuesday. Several soldiers also died on Tuesday simultaneous attack on the northern town of Abinda and the military base which lasted several hours and were of rare intensity. The army said why 80 assaultants were killed. Burkina Faso border, bordering Mali and Niger has seen frequent jihadist attack which have left hundreds of people dead since the start of 2015 when Islamist militant violence began to spread across the Sahara region. A large group of terrorists simultaneously attacked the military base and the civilian population in Abinanda, the army chief of the staff said in the statement, the, babi the bab barbaric attack resulted in the death of 35 civilian victims, most of the women. President Rock Mark Christian Caboreda added on Twitter, praising the bravery and the commitment of the Defense and Security Forces. Government spokesman Remis Danjunu said that one of the civilian victims were women and that around 20 soldiers and six civilians were wounded. The President has declared for the eight hours of national mourning. There was worldwide condemnation of the attack as well as expression of support for Burkina Faso. Pope's prayers in his traditional Christmas message, Pope Francis denounced attack on Christians in Africa and pray for victims of conflict, natural disasters and disease on the world poorest continent. The pontiff urged comfort to those who are persecuted for their religious faith, especially missionaries and members of the faithful who has been kidnapped and to the victims of attack by extremist group, particularly in Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger and Nigeria. In the Brazil, the head of the European Council, Charles Maker, tweeted in Snet in the Niger Yesterday, I've been there in Burkina Faso today, my three stand victims of the rampant terrorism that threatened us all. The European Union stands by Africa and its battle against terrorism. Niger's President Mohamedou Ishofu also expressed his solidarity and speaking in the name of the Nigerian people offer this condolence for this all civilians and military victims. The morning raid in Burkina Faso was carried out by more than 200 judges on the motorbike, triggering a fierce firefight that lasted about three hours before armed forces backed by the Air Force drove the military militant back, the security source said. No group immediately claimed responsibility for the bloodshed, but jihadist violence in Burkina Faso has been blamed on militant healing to both, AI, both Aqueda and Islamic State group. 560,000 internally displaced leaders of the GA5 Sahara Nation held summit talk in Niger earlier this month calling for closer cooperation and international support in the battle against the Islamist threat. France is also hosting another meeting next month 
Militant violence has spread across the vast Sahara region, especially in the Burkina Faso and Niger. Niger, having started when armed Islamists revolted northern Mali in 2012. The Sahara region of Africa lies to the south of the Sahara Desert and stretches across the band band of the African continent. There are 4,500 French troops deployed in the region as well as 13,000 strong UN peacekeeping force in Mali to fight insurgents, backing up the national force of the G5 Chad, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania, and Niger. In Burkina Faso, more than 700 people have been killed and around 5, 560,000 internally displaced, according to the United Nations. Attacks have targeted mostly the north and the east of the country, though the capital Ouagadougou has been hit three times. Period to Tuesday, a stark period to Tuesday attack. Burkina security forces said they had killed around 100 Jews in several operations since November. An ambush on a convoy transporting employee of a Canadian mining company in November killed 35 people. Attack has intensified this year as the under-equipped, poorly trained Burkina Faso armed struggle to contain the Islamic militant. So, gentlemen, ladies of Africa, this is going to come to the end of the news. I wish you all good luck and good night. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. If you have anything to say, please come to the comment section.